the house was alive, not in a charming creaky floorboard kind of way, more like a volcano about to erupt, spewing forth a thousand shrieking kids and a menagerie of pets. Dogs the size of ponies lumbered through rooms crammed with bunk beds, each one overflowing with giggling children. Cats, seemingly multiplying by the minute, used the furniture as scratching posts and the curtains as jungle gyms. The air hummed, no, vibrated, with the chaotic symphony of a thousand children waking up. In the eye of this hurricane lived Bob and Alice, parents who'd taken the phrase big family to a whole new level. Alice, armed with an industrial-sized kettle, brewed enough coffee to sedate a small country, her only defense against the impending tsunami of need that was their life. Bob, meanwhile, surveyed the scene with a weary fondness, his hair perpetually standing on end from years of playful assaults and near-miss projectile toys. This was their normal. They'd long ago stopped questioning their life choices. They loved their children, all thousand of them, and wouldn't trade the chaos for the world. Even if some days, it felt like the world was ending, one spilled juice box and misplaced shoe at a time. Life in the house wasn't just loud, it was a contact sport. Hallways were obstacle courses of discarded toys and rogue socks. Meals were timed free-for-alls, with spoons serving as makeshift fencing swords. And bedtime? Bedtime was a Herculean task, a carefully choreographed routine of story time, lullabies, and the occasional bribe, all designed to usher a thousand tiny humans into the land of Nod. Daybreak in the house was less a gentle sunrise, more a prison riot, the air crackled with the energy of a thousand children waking up, hungry and ready to unleash chaos. Alice, fueled by industrial-strength coffee, moved like a general marshalling her troops, directing the flow of breakfast cereal and juice boxes with the precision of a seasoned air traffic controller. Getting everyone dressed and ready for the day was a feat of Olympic proportions. Imagine a thousand kids, each clamoring for attention, each with their own unique fashion sense and a penchant for mismatched socks. Bob, a master of delegation, oversaw the operation with the calm of a Zen master, occasionally breaking up a sock puppet-related dispute with a well-timed joke. As the day wore on, the house transformed into a whirlwind of activity. Kids fueled by boundless energy morphed into tiny athletes, turning hallways into racetracks and furniture into jungle gyms. The backyard, a sprawling expanse of swings, slides, and treehouses, echoed with the joyful screams and laughter of a thousand children at play. But the most remarkable thing about the children wasn't their boundless energy, but their rapid growth. One minute they were toddlers, the next, they were teenagers, their voices cracking as they debated the merits of the latest pop star. Alice and Bob watched in awe as their children blossomed before their eyes, each one a unique and wonderful individual, growing at warp speed. As evening descended, casting long shadows across the chaotic landscape of the house, a sense of peace descended. The whirlwind of activity subsided, replaced by the quiet murmur of a thousand bedtime stories being read. Children, exhausted from a day of play, snuggled into their bunk beds, their eyelids heavy with sleep. In the quiet of the evening, Alice and Bob surveyed the scene, their hearts full. The chaos of the day faded away, replaced by a profound sense of love and gratitude. They had a thousand children, each one a unique and precious miracle, and despite the challenges, they wouldn't trade their life for anything. For in the midst of the chaos, there were moments of pure joy, the sound of a thousand children laughing in unison, the sight of older siblings helping younger ones tie their shoes or build a Lego tower, the feeling of a thousand tiny arms wrapping around them in a giant messy group hug. These were the moments that made it all worthwhile. The moments that reminded them that family, no matter how big or chaotic, was a gift. A thousand times over.